Hello children, how are you all? Today we are going to learn about the international place value system. The place value system which is used worldwide is known as the international place value system. In the international place value system, every period has three places. The first period on the right is called ones period. It consists of the places ones, tens and hundreds. Next period is thousands period, which consists of the places thousands, ten thousands and hundred thousands. And the next period to its left is millions period. Millions period consists of the places millions, ten millions and hundred millions. As we know, in the Indian place value system, we divide the digits in the groups of three, two, two and two starting from the right side and accordingly we put commas in between the number and in the international place value system we divide the digits in the groups of three and similarly we place the commas here placing the commas in between the number divides the number into different periods but remember we always start counting the digits and placing the commas from the right side and not from the left whether the number is in Indian system or international system. Now, let us learn to read and write the numbers using international number system. We write the numbers in their standard form using commas. And when we read the number, we use the name of the periods in place of commas. For example, let us try reading this number. As I told you, we have to begin from the right side and place the commas after every three digits. Doing this, we divide the given number into its period and then we can read each period separately. So, we write the number in its standard form as 7, 5, comma, 9, 4, 2, comma, 1, 0, 3. And how can we read it? Just like that. It's 75,942,103. Isn't it simple? Similarly, we can also write the large numbers in their standard form with the help of the periods. For example, we have the number 230,748,092. So, Placing the digits in the international place value chart, we have 230 million. So under the millions period, we will have 230, that is two, three and zero. Next, we will have 748,000. So for the thousands period, we will write seven, four and eight. Lastly, we have 92. As we know, that in international number system, we should have three digits in every period. But here we have only 92. So how shall we write 92 as three digits? Yes, you are right. We will write 0, 9, 2. Placing an extra zero in the beginning of the number doesn't change its value. So here we have our number ready. What do we have? It's two, three, zero, comma, seven, four, eight, comma, zero, nine, two. As you can see, commas are to be placed while writing the standard form of a number. And the name of the periods are used while writing the number name. Okay, let's have one more example. Let's say 74,901. Children, did you notice the number name is too short? Yes, because we do not have the thousands period here in the number name. What does it mean? It means if we do not name a particular place in a number, that means we have a zero there. The number zero has its place in the number, but no place value. That is why we do not name it while reading, but 
we have to write the digit zero in the number. Now, let us try placing the digits of this number under the place values. So, 74 under millions period. So, 0, 7, 4. Nothing is there in the thousands period. So, we put zeros. But how many zeros? Yes, we have to have three digits. So, three zeros. And then, 901 under the ones period. So, here we are. What is the standard form of this number? Yes, it is 7, 4, comma, 0, 0, 0, comma, 9, 0, 1. So children, I hope you all have clearly understood the world widely used international number system. Thank you.